Okay. So if you're ready, we can begin with the mock. Yes, yes, sir. All right. So again, a very good morning, Anshul. Uh, Anshul, I can see that from your dab that sir. you you already have very good accomplishment, right? You you have you have served around sir. four PSUs of the country, right? So uh, like, why sir. now you do you want to shift to Indian Forest Services? Where does this fit in your career sir. progression? Sir, uh, sir, Indian Forest Services is one of the service in which sir we get an opportunity. to directly serve at the ground level sir and it gives us an opportunity to directly work for the welfare of the people moreover the career opportunities in future in indian forest services are immense and there is wide diversity in career sir so this attracts me to indian forest services sir okay uh, just a request if you can tilt down a camera a little bit so can we can see uh, more of your uh, non verbal communication sir. all right So just just wait a minute, sir. Sure. So, uh, sir, is it fine now? Yeah, it is fine. It is fine. Right. So, so Anshul, you are presently working uh, in this Advanced Weapon Equipment India Limited. So, what is your sir. work profile there? Uh, sir, I am working in uh, Research and Development uh, Department, Ordnance Development Center, uh, which is uh, working in the field of internal external ballistics, as well as working in terms of improvement of our Existing products, sir. Okay, so like which products? Uh, improvement of which products, sir? Sir, like uh, we have started a project recently, sir, wherein we are improving our T ninety ba uh, barrel in terms of uh, its EFC life, sir. Is EFC the current full charge, sir? So right now the life of a tank barrel is two uh, fifty EFC, sir. So we. Uh, using uh, we are uh, actually coordinating with uh, DRDO ARD to increase the life to uh, 450 EFC sir so we have just now started that project sir and right. other being sir okay so like you also mentioned ballistic right in the field of so like uh, which is more accurate in general ballistic or cruise missile so cruise missiles are uh, more accurate sir okay and why is it so So, because uh, cruise missiles are propelled uh, throughout the path, sir, and uh, ballistic missile initial we give initial power boost uh, through propellant, sir, and later it uh, it is uh, left in the field of gravity, sir. So the accuracy is less in ballistic missiles, sir. So, like, does India have any cruise missiles? Yes, sir. Uh, Brahmos, sir. Okay, good. So, like, uh, Anshul, can you tell us, like, presently a war is going on, right? And I am sure. pretty sure you must be following it, right? So, so can you can you tell us what are some of the weapons uh, important weapons used by both both the parties in the war sir sir uh, you want uh, you want me to give the names or uh, you want to tell me the type of weapons that have been used sir both you can say the names and classify them in the type right sir 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 uh, mainly sir they are using artillery guns uh, armored vehicles and uh, then the uh, air defense system like s400 sir for catering for uh, uh, incoming missiles and uh, small arms they'll be using sir rifles and uh, assault rifles and uh, other small arms sir i am able to recall uh, this much right now sir all right so i should recently there, there was a news when uh, one of the missile of, from the indian side it misfired into the pakistani side right so like uh, are you aware what was the reason behind that uh i think sir there was some uh, it was uh, fired accident uh, there was some uh, uh, it was fired accidentally basically sir uh, i'm not aware of the exact uh, reason sir but it, uh, it was accidentally fired in, into that region sir all right so like i should sure. like uh, in india as well as pakistan they also keep testing missiles at various uh, interval right so uh, we also have a radar system to counter such missile when it comes in our territory so how does Uh, the nation differentiate whether it is a test missile or whether it is a missile uh, aimed aimed at themselves, right? Uh, aimed uh, uh, for the war purpose, right? So, is there like how do they they come to know about this, uh, sir? Although I'm not uh, sure about it, sir. But uh, in uh, test missile, they will not be they will not be having any warhead employed in it, sir. And in uh, if it is supposed to be targeting our country. then it will be having a conventional warhead or a nuclear warhead with it sir 
like so uh, this will uh, come to know after it has landed in the country right is there any way to predetermine it is there any treaty between india or pakistan on that front Uh, sir i'm uh, not aware of it sir it's all right anshul right so okay sir. like uh, anshul can uh, like uh, can you tell me a uh, few or maybe two or three most important sir. virtues or thing uh, one should have uh, to be happy in life to be happy in life sir yes okay sir sir uh, first of all sir one should have a satisfaction with what he is currently having in his life sir that is a con- feeling of contentment sir okay that is the first sir. thing yes what sir. else and uh, sir other things are uh, sir uh, please uh, give me a moment uh, to think about it sir sure sir I, i'm not able to uh, think about it as of now sir okay uh, you could make a guess it could be money it could be you know, fame job sir, for, uh, yes sir it can be money but uh, sir i think uh, being in the right job that uh, being uh, doing what you love sir it will uh, definitely bring happiness to uh, someone's life sir or all love right. what uh, do what you love or and what uh, love what you do sir all right anshul so uh, like my last sir. question uh, to you is that Uh, like uh, so, suppose you are watching a Nas- national geographic channel or a discovery channel and uh, so, like before that can you tell me where one haunted rhinoceros are found in our country in which national park sir sir uh, it is found in assam sir okay. in the kaziranga national park sir okay okay good so like if you are watching yeah. a, a documentary and in that documentary in a single shot you are able to see a one haunted rhinoceros you are also able to see so, an elephant Uh, as well as l- lion right so Sir. can you guess which of the national park or which place could this be so elephant lion and uh, one on rhinoceros okay okay sir uh, sir i think it it should be kaziranga only sir because uh, kaziranga in kaziranga we have uh, elephant as well as one on rhinoceros but lions are only found in uh, gir uh, uh, asiatic lions are found in gir national park sir so i'm not sure if there is any lion in uh, kaziranga national park sir so it might be gir also but uh, uh, one horned rhinoceros is not fa- found in gir sir yeah right like so it it might not be found in india it might be some national park in africa it could also be a zoo right So, okay in uh, yeah yes sir yes sir right sir. all right so all right that's it from my side uh, anshul uh, sir. if uh, sajid sir is available uh, over to sajid sir right good morning anshul good morning sir anshul what i see from your dad you have written several ranks sir do you think uh, getting a rank is an achievement or a medal or a scholarship or a prize sir sir what uh, do you think Sir, sir. Uh, sir, it is uh, definitely an achieve uh, achievement, sir. But uh, it it will not qualify in a prize or a medal, sir. So uh, it means that you do not read before writing. Is that so? Uh, no, sir. I I have I I read about it, sir. But. Uh, there have been uh, i have seen other uh, detailed application form and uh, people uh, usually do fill the ranks in uh, the, the columns sir so if someone else is doing wrong you will also do the wrong right uh, no no sir that's what you have done uh, i'm sorry sir getting 8000 rank in iit jee is sir, sir. that even count as an achievement uh, sir uh, Usually, sir, around uh, four to five lakh people uh, appear for IIT JEE, sir. And uh, getting a rank in IIT JEE uh, and getting uh, selected in IIT JEE, I consider it as an achievement, sir. But it was uh, not a good rank, I would say, sir, to get uh, into IITs, sir. So whether it is an achievement or not, that just tell me. Sir, as per you, as sir, per your me, own definition, sir. For me, it was an achievement, sir. 
and then you have changed so many jobs it means you are not satisfied as per your own definition sir uh, sir after uh, my graduation sir i had decided to appear for a engineering services exam sir but uh, i had got a campus uh, placement job offer from hero motor corp sir so i decided to prepare alongside the job but when i was unable to do justice to my preparation i prepared uh, for engineering services exam sir but uh, the syllabus of gate and engineering services are same sir so i appeared for both the exams and i cleared uh, both the exams but the results of engineering services exam are announced at a later phase sir so i joined uh, the public sectors in between the phase sir and when the joining of engineering services came i joined sir there sir okay so are you really happy or you are just hopping on from one service to another one exam to another you are just yeah. giving exams you are not yeah. satisfied there is that so no sir i am uh, very much satisfied in indian ordnance factory services sir and uh, and there have been various opportunities and uh, in uh, in terms of uh, recognition and uh, job satisfaction i am very uh, content here sir but in indian forest services the opportunities are wider and it will give me an opportunity to in directly interact with public sir so you must be giving civil services also sir i am giving civil services but i am not uh, interested in uh, i am interested in indian forest services only sir are you giving civil services or not sir last year i was unable to qualify for uh, mains of uh, indian forest services so i gave civil services sir but this year although i gave just to practice my optional mechanical engineering as well as uh, english uh, for that that's why only i gave sir for uh, Indian civil services, sir. But I am uh, focused only on forest services. Sir. If you get a chance to serve in IAS, will you leave sir. it, sir? If I get selected in Indian forest services, I I will not give attempt further, sir. Okay. Have you heard the term De Licortis Law? I am sorry, sir. I have not heard about it, sir. Okay. Have you heard the term Shannon Wiener Index? Yes, sir. I have heard about it. It is, uh, it is uh, related to biodiversity. I have heard about it, but I am not uh, that much. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know the details about it, sir. Can you differentiate forest cover and tree cover, sir? Sir, forest uh, tree cover is sir uh, the areas that are, that have the, uh, I mean, uh, having a Area less than one hectare, and the forest cover are area which are having a density greater than tree canopy density greater than ten percent, and area more than one hectare. Sir, are you sure? Yes. Sir. Okay. Uh, why do we have so many laws in the Forest Act, Wildlife Protection Act, and uh, Environment Protection Act, Water Act, this and that? Act? Why can't we have a single unified act? Uh, sir, the uh, purpose of all the acts are uh, different, sir, and they have been framed at uh, different time frames, sir. So the reason is that, sir, like Indian Forest Act defines forest, and Wildlife Protection Act is related to wi wildlife of our country and uh, about various national park and wildlife sanctuary, sir. While uh, Biodiversity Act is related to uh, conservation of biodiversity and uh, benefit uh, sh sharing related to that, sir. And Environment Protection Act is related to pollution, sir. So the purpose of all the acts are different, sir. Okay. Have you heard the term protected forest and reserve forest? Yes, sir. Where are they written? Sir, it is in Indian Forest Act, nineteen twenty-seven, sir. Okay. Which section deals with it? Uh, sir, for protected forest, it is uh, section four to twenty-eight, sir. And uh, reserve forest is from uh, section twenty. Nine uh, twenty. Uh, sorry, for, from section thirty to thirty-four, sir. As far as I can remember, sir. Don't you think you have vice versa? No, sir. Sir, I've uh, read about uh, it recently, sir. What does section four say? Uh, sir, according to section four, a uh, state government can declare uh, an area as a reserve forest, sir. And and you were telling that this is for a protected forest. Okay, sir. I think I, I I made a mistake, sir. I'm I'm sorry, sir. It's okay. Uh, do you uh, know? Have you met any JFMC members? Have you ever met any JFMC members?
Uh, no, sir, not yet, sir. Do you know what JFMC is? Sir, JFMC stands for uh, Joint Forest Management Committee, sir. Usually, uh, sir, in uh, forest, uh, we form a Joint Forest Management Community to, so that we can involve community in the conservation of forests, sir. So, okay. tribals, uh, yes, sir. Uh, when did it start in India? Sir, sir uh, it was... The actual genesis was uh, in uh, Aribadi village in West Bengal, sir, by a Sri culturist Ajit Kumar Banerjee, sir. When he was working in a, a plantation, then uh, the tribes were uh, the people living around the forest. They were not supporting him, so he asked. He formed a committee and uh, asked them to support him regarding the conservation, uh, regarding the uh, forest management, sir. And later on, sir, in 1989, there was a. Uh, uh, there was from government side it started from there was a, i think uh, some uh, notification from government and late in 2000 it was uh, instituted what i can recall sir okay do you know the, who is the forest minister of madhya pradesh uh, no sir i'm not aware forest minister of india uh, sir i think it is uh, bhupendra singh yadav sir okay, okay sir okay. Uh, as per champion and said what are the types of forest ex ex exist in MP? MP, sir. Uh, sir, mainly it is uh, tropical uh, dry deciduous forest, sir. Uh, tropical moist deciduous forest. Uh, uh, thorny, uh, th uh, tropical th uh, thorn forest. And uh, th this is all I can think of right now, sir. That's it? Yes, sir. I am able to recall uh, uh, this much only, sir. Mainly, MP has a tropical di dry deciduous forest and tropical moist deciduous forest. Sir. So, as per championship, how many types of forest exist? Uh, what is the classification? Do you remember? Uh, sir, there are total 16 types of forest according to champion and state classification, sir. They are further subdivided into uh, more uh, uh, parts. That is? Like sir, uh, uh, there is a uh, tropical. Uh, just wait, wait a minute, sir. Let me uh, take a moment, sir. The so, tropical, it is sir, uh, tropical wet evergreen forest, tropical uh, semi evergreen forest, sir. Tropical dry deciduous forest, tropical moist deciduous forest, uh, littoral and swamp forest, uh, semi tropical semi evergreen forest, sir. Uh, Subalpine forest, tropical uh, broadleaf. The broadleaf forest is also there in MP, sir. And uh, mountain wet temperate forest, mountain uh, dry temperate forest, and uh, thorn. Uh, it's okay, I'm sorry. Uh, my last question would be regarding uh, Hindi plays. So, so, have you read Asad Ka Ek Din? No, sir, I have not read it. So, which interesting uh, play have you read recently? Uh, no, uh, sir, actually, I am uh, not into reading that much, sir. Okay, so you just perform? Sir. Okay, okay. okay. That's all from my side. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you, Thank sir. You. Now, if register is available, he can take over, otherwise uh, Abhishek can take over. Yes, okay. my name, I'm very much yes, there. Sir. Please, sir. So, Ashul, good morning. Good morning, sir. So, unfortunately, my video is not, uh, you know, possible from uh, this location. So, I'm only sir. available as a voice. Sir. So, <clears throat> first, uh, you know, you have uh, shown uh, your interest in uh, mimicking and doing a stand-up comedy. Sir. So, firstly, I would like to see, you know, some mimic act yeah. of a typical, uh, you know, Jamalpur style uh, mimicking of somebody. Sir, uh, sir, I, uh, I, uh, I, I mean, I cannot uh, do it in the sir uh, Jabalpur tone because uh, uh, I don't uh, use uh, that uh, Bundel uh, Bundel Khandi. I am not using sir Bundel Khandi language for my communication, but I can do it in sir uh, Hindi, sir. Okay, of go on. Actor of sir. Okay, sir. Okay, uh, sir. Your so choice. I, I can. Uh, okay, sir. 
सर आई कैन मेमिक संजीव कुमार राजकुमार श्री सनी देवल श्री सुनील सेट्टी सो इफ यू कैन चूज एनी वन एनी वन पर एनी वन ओके 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 सर सर लाइक आई मेड अ स्मॉल एक्ट सर इफ आई कैन डू दैट सर इट इज इट विल बी इन हिंदी सर सो देर इज अ कम्युनिक कन्वर्सेशन बिटवीन संजीव कुमार जी एंड अरविंद केजरीवाल जी सो संजीव कुमार जी से श्री अरविंद केजरीवाल केजरीवाल जी सुना है दिल्ली में पॉल्यूशन काफी बढ़ गया है आप इसके लिए क्या स्टेप्स ले रहे हैं तो केजरीवाल जी कहते हैं देखिए दिल्ली का मुख्यमंत्री होने के नाते मैंने काफी सारे कदम उठाए हैं मैंने दिल्ली के बॉर्डर पे जो भी पावर प्लांट से उनको रेस्ट्रिक्ट किया जो हम लोग ठंड के समय कोयला और अंगीठी यूज करते हैं तंदूर यूज करते हैं उसको मैंने रेस्ट्रिक्ट किया मैंने कोनाट प्लेस में स्मॉक टावर लगाया मैंने ऑड इवन स्कीम चलाई लेकिन लोगों ने ऑड और इवन दोनों नंबर की गाड़ी खरीद ली मैंने काफी सारे स्टेप लिए हैं लेकिन मेरे स्टेप लेने से सिर्फ पॉल्यूशन कम नहीं होगा इसके लिए हमारी सारी जनता को दिल्ली की जनता को कंट्रीब्यूट करना होगा हमें अपना खुद का कार्बन फुटप्रिंट कम करना पड़ेगा तभी हम इस पॉल्यूशन जैसी समस्या से लड़ पाएंगे जी सर दैट दैट इज ऑल फ्रॉम माय साइड सर गुड आंशुल आई एम इंप्रेस्ड थैंक यू बट यू नो इन योर दिस एक्ट यू मेंशन अबाउट द इंपैक्ट ऑफ पावर प्लांट ऑन द द द दिल्ली सिटी एंड द पॉल्यूशन एंड यू वर वेरी मच पार्ट ऑफ वन सच प्लांट इन गाडावाड़ा एनटीपीसी प्लांट सो व्हाट इज योर टेक ऑन दैट I mean, uh, firstly, I would like. Get to know of that power plant in the ecology of uh, the sir. area. Sir, uh, Gadarwara is uh, situated uh, in Narsingpur uh, district, sir, and uh, mainly there is a tropical uh, dry deciduous forest. Sir, I am uh, not aware of the exact uh, trees over there, sir. But it should be tec- uh, Tectona grandis and uh, Ak- Akakia catechu, Akakia nilotica, and uh, uh, Butia monosperma. That is Palas, sir. And uh, due to uh, the uh, NTPC power plant uh, being situated over there, sir. Uh, usually, sir, there there is a fly ash that is being uh, that is disposed of from a uh, power plant, sir. So we can see. the deposition of fly ash over the uh, vegetation present near the vicinity of the plant sir and uh, moreover the emissions like uh, sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide are also there uh, in a thermal power plant sir so it 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 will result in air pollution in the vicinity of that area sir and there is also a, a bottom ash which is Usually, uh, which is collected and uh, deposited in a pond, sir. So all these issues will uh, be there in that area, sir. But uh, the plant uh, is right now; it is working in sixteen uh, hundred megawatt capacity, and it will be it is going to be expanded to thirty two hundred megawatt capacity, sir. So that power uh, will help NP as well as that area in terms of energy security, sir. But uh, are you uh, saying that there are no, uh, you know, sufficient mitigation strategy of by the plant? to keep check on you know all this negative impact of the plant on the ecology of that area uh, sir we use uh, electrostatic precipitator precipitator to reduce the content of uh, fly ash as well as various measures are used like uh, uh, in terms of like uh, disposal of uh, uh, bottom ash and uh, other uh, for uh, for uh emission of gases i think we are not using any any technology as such sir but otherwise sir ntpc is one of the uh, companies in india sir which is supplying 25% power and is usually following all the all the uh, norms that have been specified by central pollution control board and state pollution control board sir okay and also uh, anshul you have mentioned a few tree species but my question was on ecology and you didn't mention Uh, the Sorry. the other element of uh, you know that environment which Sorry. actually uh, part of the very uh, ecology of that area especially uh, the the wild animal do you have any idea Sorry. about the wild animal present uh, in that landscape uh so sir. sir it is situated near pachmadi sir pachmadi is a part of uh, 
Pachmadi Biosphere Reserve as well as there is uh, Satpura Tiger Reserve there, sir. And uh, in Pachmadi, we have uh, tigers and then cheetal, sambar, nilgai, and uh, wild boar are found over there. In the uh, vicinity of Gadarwara, sir, I am not aware what is the exact uh, wildlife present in that area, sir, because the area where I lived was uh, a settle, settlement kind of a place, sir. So there I I could only see domestic animals, sir. Okay. And how about the rivers around? Sir, uh, there was a uh, Shakkar River, which was a tributary of uh, Narmada, sir, in Gadarwara, sir. Okay. That's really good. So, and uh, have you ever visited any national parks or, uh, you know, century or tiger reserve in Madhya Pradesh? Sir, I have uh, visited Page National Park. In okay. uh, recently, sir. So when you visited Paint National Park? Sir, during my training program, in uh, I have visited twice, sir, in November 2017 and uh, in November 2018, sir, I visited twice. Okay, so what are your observations from uh, Paint Tiger Reserve? Sir, uh, sir, I had uh, witnessed uh, uh, Few wild wildlife in in terms of fauna, sir. I have uh, I have got an opportunity to sight uh, uh, usual animals that like uh, sambar, cheetal, and uh, neil guy. Uh, I witnessed a fox also, sir. But I did not uh, got a chance uh, during my visit. I never witnessed a, a tiger, sir. And the hmm. trees that were uh, that I could see was uh, Tectona grandis and uh, Butea monosperma, that is Palas, sir. And uh, sir, I had witnessed one event that is usually called uh, calling of animals, sir. And calling of animals is done when uh, a tiger is nearby. So when I was uh, passing through a patch, uh, there was a uh, uh, there was calling by uh, animals wherein birds as well as uh, deers and monkeys were involved, sir. So our guide told us that uh, there, uh, uh, there there can be a tiger nearby. So can we can uh, get a chance to witness the tiger. But uh, unfortunately, we waited there for around 15-20 uh, minutes, but uh, we could not sight a tiger, sir. So again, I'll take a clue from your deaf. Uh, can you mimic sir. that call which you heard? Sir, uh, sir, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I, I, I cannot oh, no, uh, not I, a problem. be able not to problem. Sir. sir. Achha, <clears throat> can you tell me the significance of Page Tiger Reserve? Uh, or what are the specialities of Page Tiger Reserve as such? Sir, Sir uh, Page Tiger Reserve has been mentioned in the Rudyard, Rudyard Kipling's uh, book, Jungle Book, from where the character of Bogli has been taken, sir. Okay. And uh, it is located in both uh, MP and uh, Maharashtra state, sir. And the Page River flows through the uh, national park, sir. Okay. So that, that, that is what I can recall right now, sir. And it has around 40 tigers. So. Okay, that's really good to know. Thank you. So, man, this much is from my side. I think uh, you can invite I, I, the next. I just, uh, sorry to, so I just want to ask the uh, network ka issue is from my end only, or you have some issue hai in listening. There is some, uh, right? Or is it fine uh, from your end? So, I can so. I was good, like I can uh, hear Anshul's voice very, okay, sir. Okay. very nicely. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, Abhishek, you can take over from here. Sir. Abhishek? Okay. Good morning, Abhishek. Morning, Abhishek. How was your morning? It was okay. good. So, you are from Madhya Pradesh, right? Yes. Uh, tell me the per in percentage term, what is the forest cover and forest area of, of Madhya Pradesh? Uh, in terms of percentage, it is around uh, 38 to 40 percent. And uh, in area, it, it is around 78,000 kilometers. What is the difference? Sorry? What is the difference between forest cover and forest area? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, forest cover is uh, given by uh, the classification of Forest Survey of India. And it includes uh, open for uh, uh, just let, let me take a moment. It it consists of uh, uh, open uh, open forest, uh, medium dense forest, and very dense forest. 
while uh, per, uh, per, percentage of forest is usually defined as uh, the total reserved and protected forest present in an area okay. and it is present in state government records okay have you heard about reintroduction plan yes i have heard about it uh, what is it in uh, kuno palpur uh, national park in madhya pradesh there is a plan to uh, reintroduce uh, cheetah as well as there was a plan to introduce uh, asiatic lion from okay. here and uh, name three species you already mentioned two can you name other species where this reintroduction plan is being carried out uh you uh, sir you mean uh, the tell me the name of a species okay. as well as protected areas okay uh, for a lion or a cheetah only or some other no no for some other species okay okay uh, sir it, it is being carried out for rhino also in uh, uttar pradesh in Kat kataria ghat wildlife sanctuary as far as i can remember okay so what's uh, your perspective on the introduction is it a good strategy sir since since india has been a, a country which is which was replete with cheetah during the uh, medieval and ancient time medieval and modern uh, era so it it was uh, lost because of hunting and poaching so reintroduction is a good idea if and only appropriate steps are being taken so that we can uh, keep the uh, i mean we can restore the particular animal in the particular habitat with the prey species and it does not hamper the given ecosystem in terms of loss to any other species like in kuno palpur if we reintroduce both lion and cheeta there might be a, a competition between them or if tiger is already present the competition might be there for the prey species so we have to look into all these aspect aspect before a reintroduction but you see some states like gujarat is opposing why is it so so gujarat being known for uh, asiatic lion venue serves as a brand ambassador for uh, tourism of gujarat so if mp will also host uh, asiatic lion the tourism as well as the uh, lion which is found only in gujarat so it will be found in two places so that might be one of the reason and uh, the one of the reason which uh, from which they have been uh, talking about uh, uh, not not like not relocating the lion it was that the uh, kunu national park is not has not been able to fulfill all the criteria uh, for reintroduction there are 20 criteria and i think only 13 criteria have been fulfilled by kunu national park at, at present time so that is the reason that, uh, because of which relocation has not started yet sir okay you, you like playing cricket right you have mentioned yeah. in your death. why yeah. cricket why not other games uh, sir the reason being uh, for me cricket is, uh, for in, in india in general terms for playing cricket we need only a bat or a wooden uh, wooden uh, i mean you can say a material wooden uh, bat kind of a thing and a ball which is very easy to get for stumps one can use bricks so it is a very uh, game which it is a game which can be played at a very uh, lower cost and it is I uh, usually played in uh, a gully cricket and other are very famous in i remember when i was a child i used to play with a, a wooden uh, not exactly a bat it was a bat but a wooden uh, piece you can say so it is very easy to play uh, the rules are very very easy and you just need a bat and bat and ball to play cricket but in other games like badminton or uh, volleyball you need a court you need a net and uh, you need a, a proper place for that so you uh, so and uh, in india cricket is also more popular in terms of gully sports so i started with cricket only okay but you see uh, just you, what you mentioned for cricket it, it is same for football in brazil right yes so i don't think this is the reason that uh, cricket is so popular in india and uh, this is the reason that you think uh, you like playing cricket there are some other uh, can you name other reason for which you like playing cricket Yeah, why is it so popular in India? Uh, 
for sir for popularity because we have been a colony of uh, british uh, government sir so cricket was uh, being played since 19 Sir. And uh, since India won 1983 World Cup, the popularity of cricket uh, rose immensely. While in uh, football, we were not able to perform, or we could not even qualify. There's hockey sticks, and uh, the ball they are uh, they are actually very costly. So usually, ho uh, hockey is that, that is the reason why hockey is not famous, because we have won medals in seven gold medals in hockey, eight gold medals actually. But the, we have the kind of equipment that is required uh, required to play that sport is uh, is costly. So that uh, that is the reason for increasing popularity of cricket. Okay, you see, IPL is so popular in India. Right? Can you tell me some negative impacts of IPL? Okay, uh, sir. IPL, in terms of cricket, it has brought money into the uh, main picture rather than uh, talent. so player players there have been very good players like who uh, cheteshwar pujara and uh, jo root who have not been able to get a bid because they were unsuitable they are uh, considered unsuitable for the t20 format so it has bring money in forefront and there are various parties that are organized after the game is being played and uh, earlier cheer leaders were also used so the culture of a sport was uh, no, uh, the core uh, the core thing that we need to do while playing a sport is playing the sport but ipl is more like there have been various issue of sport fixing also so the uh, shift the shift ha has been from uh, the core sport to the other aspects also so that is one of the negative aspects of ipl okay this will be the my last question you have worked in hero motor cop right yeah <coughs> have you heard about kaizen principle yes what uh, is it Kaizen is a Japanese term that is used for uh, continuous uh, or small improvement or small, uh, I can say, small innovation that has been suggested by anyone and which can be implemented in a uh, shop floor. Okay, uh, it is about continuous improvement, right? Yes. So tell me, uh, in the last four to five years, what continuous improvement have you made in your life? Okay. in terms of my career when i started in uh, hero motor uh, in the sorry in indian honest factory services initially i was when i was given r and d i it was a very difficult uh, phase for me to understand various terms and uh, uh, like uh, we, i had to read a lot in the initial phase so slowly and slowly i read and developed the tempo and started understanding the nuances of uh, an artillery gun and uh, over the years i have been given an opportunity to represent my uh, factory no, and department i am asking you tell me in your personality terms like what has okay what have you changed in your personality your life not about knowledge okay okay right okay sir before uh, like earlier i used to uh, i had a habit of doing multiple things at a time and because of that i was not able to focus and concentrate on a single thing or a single activity now i have changed slowly and slowly i have gradually changed my habit and i have decided that i'll plan my activities and i try to de- do one activity at a time with sole focus so it has helped me in uh, improving my uh, improving in my achieving my target and as well as in terms of output Uh, I, uh, my output has increased because of that. Okay, thank you, Ansu. And that's all from my side. Thank you, sir. Good morning, Ansu. Good morning, sir. So, would you please tell us some of the techniques used for animal census? Okay, sir. Animal sense census, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah. Sir, uh, for tigers, we use pug mark, then camera traps, and uh, the. Uh, fecus ma uh, matter of the animal, as well as uh, method like uh, we uh, watch towers are used, wherein we can uh, watch towers are placed over a tree, wherein we can directly count uh, animals, sir. I, I can read. And, and uh, like few minutes back, sir asked you to mimic a particular call. So can call be also used for census, as uh, a census technique? 
so sir i'm uh, not aware if exactly calling can be used for census sir but there are methods like beating uh, drums if we beat drums usually the animals uh, flock and uh, uh, they they uh, flock and they are they come in, uh, into a particular area they congregate in a particular area so beating drums are used calling can be used to distinguish between various animals because every animal will be having a different voice but i am not sure if that can be used as a method in uh, census sir. Okay, well, calling is also used as a technique for yes. animal census, especially when it comes to birds and frogs also it can be used. So, thank you, sir. Okay. And uh, here working in the ordinance factory, here work there. And recently government took the decision of corporatization of ordinance factory. Yes, so sir. what is the reason behind it? So, sir, uh, the primary reason was, sir, to increase our autonomy, to increase the competitiveness, as well as reduce the price that we uh, in which we are delivering the products to Indian Army, sir. Okay, because the system has been like in presence for the last so many years. What were the yes, flaws sir. that uh, government suddenly decided to change it after so many years? Because it has been prevalent since British times. Sir, uh, the proposal to corporate ordinance factory board was in. Uh, pipeline since 2000 sir there were various committees like uh, vijay kelkar committee raman puri committee which has suggested corporation of ordinance factory uh, board sir but uh, due to the various opposition by union and uh, members of uh, who are working in indian ordinance factory board it was delayed sir but uh, the step has been taken right now and it is a very good step in terms of uh, increasing the defense production as well as reducing the cost that we are supplying to Indian or Indian Army, sir. Okay, and how you can use your background in the field of forestry? Sir, sir, sir I am a, a mechanical engineer, sir. So mechanical engineering can be used in forestry. Like during the forest fire, sir, we create a fire line to stop the spreading of fire, sir. So we use a hand, hand axe to cut the tree. So we can use mechanized saw so that we can do uh, the process in a faster manner, sir. We can also use a mechanical instrument like leaf blower to uh, scatter the leaves that are present, so which can serve as a fuel load, sir. And also we can use waste to energy, sir, uh, waste to energy conversion in uh, Uttarakhand, and it is already being used for uh, cheer pine needles. It can uh, serve both the purpose, sir. It can help us in getting rid of the pine needles for uh, which helps in uh, which results in uh, forest fires and it will also help us in getting energy security for the uh, population living around the village and they can also get employment in terms of collecting leaves from that area sir uh, have you heard of india's first geological park sir i'm sorry sir i have not heard about it sir. okay it's in jabalpur only lameta okay sir i i should have known about it sir i'm i'm, I'm really sorry Okay, so have you heard of the tree city tag? Yes, sir. Can you name Indian cities which received it? It, it is uh, Hyderabad, sir, as per my knowledge. Sir. Sure, only Hyderabad. Why is there any other? Also? But one more city was there, sir. I am unable to recall it right now, but Hyderabad, I am uh, sure about Hyderabad, sir. Okay, so Mumbai also got this tag. And uh, can you name the organization behind this tag? Which organization gives this tag? Uh, sir, I'm uh, not uh, sure, but I think it is Arbor Day Foundation is uh, there, sir. And FAO. So yeah. how are you going to increase the green cover of a city? What should be your steps? What should be your initiative? So, sir, there, there is a government scheme wherein we are focusing on Nagar 1 or urban forest, sir. Where, uh, wherein we uh, around, I think, if I'm not wrong, it is 10 to 20 hectare of land is being reserved for developing urban forests. So we can use urban forestry to increase the city cover, and we can also use Miyawaki method, sir, which is a faster as well as which is a denser forest, and it can be generated in a shorter span of time, sir. 
So if I get an opportunity, I can use those schemes in terms of increasing green cover sir. And uh, what type of species you will be focusing upon when it comes to urban forestry? Sir, sir, first of all, sir, while selecting a species, I will take care that it is suitable for the adaptive and the climatic condition of that particular location, sir. And uh, like, if I talk in terms of my uh, Jabalpur or Jabalpur in general, sir, we generally we I can use sir like Azadi Raksta Indica that is neem and uh, Saraka Asoka and uh, uh, Butia Monosperma that is Palas, sir. Okay, so like in lots of Indian cities, so we come across eucalyptus earlier, sir. Like lots of eucalyptus were planted and now they are being removed. Sir. So, what is the reason that uh, eucalyptus is not preferred anymore? Sir, uh, sir uh, eucalyptus is a exotic species and uh, it results in uh, it, the water uh, consumption by an eucalyptus tree is uh, huge, sir. And earlier it was used in agroforestry, but uh, it used to uh, drain water from the uh, for, uh, farm, sir. So, it it, uh, th that was one of the problems, sir. It takes a lot of water, and the other problem is, uh, it is uh, it is it re releases some chemical exudates, sir, which might uh, cause uh, uh, some issues in terms of allelopathic effects, sir. That's all from my side. Sir. Moving on to my answer. So I think uh, we, early, I just want to ask this question, which Ajay sir was asking. So you said that eucalyptus takes a lot of water. Sir. From the where does this take water? It takes water from groundwater. Or from where? Uh, sir, I'm not sure, but it must be uh, groundwater only, sir. Like, are you aware what is generally the depth of groundwater in general in Jabalpur area? It should be around sir, uh, 60 to 80 uh, feet, sir. I'm not sure. I'm just making so, a guess. So, so, the roots of the tree can go till 60 to 80 feet? Uh, like, is it possible? Uh, no, sir. I, I don't think so, sir. Okay, okay. It's all right. So, uh, sir. I think that's all from our side, Anshul. It was very pleasant talking sir. to you. Uh, we'll end sir. the mock here. You can leave the call sir. for a few minutes and then I'll text sir. you and call you back for the feedback, right? Oh, okay. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Thank you.